And this year, I, I actually, oh, I can't even speak, I'm so excited. Yo, welcome to my channel. If you're new here, my name's JD and I'm an artist from Bristol in the UK. Now, the time has finally come. Yes, it is so exciting for me. I have been looking forward to this for, honestly, you do not know how long. I was supposed to be doing Upfest in 2020. Unfortunately, due to all the rubbish that went on, this got canceled. And now, two years later, the festival is back. Yes, honestly, I am super stoked, as you can probably tell. So, for those of you that don't know, Upfest is Europe's largest street art festival, and it is held in my hometown, Bristol, UK, and you're not going to believe it, it is actually on my doorstep. It is literally just up the road in Bedminster. You may have seen this in a previous video, where Obviously, due to all the things that happened, they did do an Upfest, but it wasn't quite the same festival as it usually was. But I still gave a good coverage of it last year. I'll put the link for this up here in the description. Or up here. I can't remember. I can never remember what side. So basically, there are lots of different ways of painting at Upfest. There are different boards I could have applied for. So I've gone for the smallest size, which is a 1.2 meter by 1.2 meter board. Now they do go up to like two and a half meter by 1.5 meter, all the way up to like even a house or a big building. So obviously being my first year, I just went for the small one. Basically, there's hundreds of thousands of people come from all over the world, all come to Upfest to watch all the artists paint. There's loads of music and events going on. It is actually just such a wicked weekend and it's all for free as well. So. With all that information about Upfest, hopefully you know what it's all about now. Basically, I have to decide what to paint. It's kind of been rattling my brain for ages and I just keep thinking, what shall I paint? What shall I do? And I've tried to come up with a few different ideas for Upfest specifically. And I've come up with things that are a bit more simple, really effective, bold, nice and colorful. But then at the same time, do I do something a bit more challenging that's a bit more impressive? I do like this really simple but effective idea that I've come up with where I do these sort of like colourful pebbles and sometimes I started off by putting faces in them and then sometimes I didn't. I'm not sure which way around I want to go with it yet but I really like these pieces. They're really bold, really bright, colourful, really effective. So I think I might go for this and do some sort of maybe Bristol theme or something to spread joy and happiness. So yeah, there's nothing else to say, but let's crack on and come up with some ideas. Got a little secret. There's been a change of plan. Basically, I've come up with another artwork, totally different. This was just freestyling one day. And you know what? I love it and I really enjoyed doing it and now it's making me totally rethink what I should be doing for Upfest. So this is the piece that I really enjoyed doing. If I'm really honest I just think it is a lot more impressive and I just think if people see this compared to the other thing I think it's just going to impress a few more people. So back to the drawing board let's come up with a similar design to this, I really love the milk snake, so I'm basically recreating this for the size of the board that I'm going to be doing. Without further ado, let's crack on with the new design. So now we've got the design down, the goal is to transfer this over to the big board. Now I don't really want to just go ahead and freestyle this, I'd like something that's going to help me on the day. So I had a bit of scrap material and I've cut it, barely get it in shot, and I've cut it 
to the size of the board so that I can get this down and actually this stuff is adhesive. This is my plan. Draw it on, stick it on the board on site and then cut out the bits that I need, peel them off and then use the spray paint to fill in the snake. So what I'm going to be doing is copying my design onto this using a grid technique. So let's get to it. Because this is the biggest artwork I have ever done in the house. Well, even though I'm not doing it in the house, but you know what I mean. There's just not enough room to do it up in my studio or in my room. So I've been averted downstairs. I'm in the living room and there's enough space on the living room floor. So this is what I'm going to be doing. So let's get on with it. As an added little bonus for you guys, it's actually like a couple of weeks before the festival, but I have noticed on the social media that quite a few of the big artists have started already. Some of them have even finished. So yeah, as a little treat, we're gonna go around Bristol and we're gonna go and check out some of these pieces and also maybe catch some of them in action as well. So let's get to it. So this bit isn't up fest, but it is a wall that I wanna show you. There's some amazing art on this wall. Some new pieces actually done so let's check some of these out Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you.
I hope you enjoyed seeing that bit of the video. That fly is going to die, I'm telling you. Come here, mate. Yeah, have some of that. Sorry about that. What was I saying? So we are back at home and I had a wicked time going out seeing a lot of these artworks being created. Now, unfortunately, due to doing massive walls, obviously, it's almost impossible to do this in two days. So a lot of the artists have come down early to make sure that the pieces were finished, ready for Upfest. So luckily for me, and kind of lucky for you guys, because I can give you a bit of a sneak peek, I live so close, I can go out there almost every day and watch the progression of the artworks as they come to life. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed that. This is going to be the end of part one of Upfest 22. And this is just so that it's not a massive half hour long video. And I'm going to wrap this episode up here. If you enjoyed watching some of the sneak peeks and things being created before the festival, then please hit that like button. And if you're not already, it'd be sick if you could subscribe too. And don't forget, tick that little bell notification icon. You'll be the first person to know when this next video drops. So anyway, until then, with all that inspiration, I'm going to get back to work on my practice piece for Upfest. Hopefully finish this. I've got a few other things to prepare. And yeah, I'll see you on the flip side.